circumference of a circle. So what exactly is circumference? Circumference is the distance around a circle. It's like finding the perimeter of the circle. An interesting thing about circles is if you take the diameter of any circle, and this is your diameter, that's a line segment that cuts that circle in half, that passes through the center of the circle. If you take that diameter and you triple it, it would almost perfectly, if this were a string, it would almost perfectly wrap around the outside of that circle. And this will work with any circle. It, you could do this with a penny. Take the diameter of a penny and triple it, and it would almost wrap around perfectly. Or an above-ground swimming pool, you could find the diameter of that, triple it, and it would almost perfectly wrap around each circle. And actually, for hundreds of years, this was the formula that they used for finding circumference. They would just triple the diameter. Now, that's not exactly accurate, as we'll see later in this video. But it's really good for estimating the circumference of a circle. So here we have a circle with a, a diameter of 7 meters. Well, if you were to triple that, a good estimate for the outside or the circumference of this circle would be 21. How about this circle? What do you think a good estimate for the circumference of this circle would be? Well, the diameter is 11, so if we triple that, we multiply it times 3, a good estimate for the circumference would be 33 meters. Now, this one's a little bit tricky. You've got to be careful because we're given the radius, which is half of the diameter. So if you wanted to know the diameter, we would just double the radius the diameter would be 10 meters. So a good estimate for the circumference of this circle would be 3 times 10, or 30 meters. So it's not exactly 3 times uh, around. What is the actual formula for finding circumference? It's actually pi times diameter. And pi is just a little bit more than 3. And in this video, for pi, we're going to be using, we're going to round it to 3.14. We're going to use 3.14 for pi. Um, a second formula that you can use for finding circumference is 2 times pi times r. Well, if you think about it, it makes sense because if you double the radius, it's just like doing pi times diameter because you're doubling the radius, which gives you the diameter. And if you're using this formula, by the way, 2 times pi times r, it doesn't matter which order you multiply these three factors. I could do 2 times pi and then times the radius, or if I wanted, I could double the radius times pi. You can multiply these three in any order. You could even do pi times the radius and then multiply times 2. Okay, so two, but uh, you'll commonly see 2 pi r as a, form, a second formula for circumference. All right, let's just try a few of these. Um, whenever I'm using formulas, I like to write down the formula. I like to substitute in. I like to solve and then write my solution and label it. So let's take a look. We have two circles here. Let's find the circumference. Uh, the first formula I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, circumference equals pi d. So there's your formula. Let's substitute in what we know. Well, we're going to use 3.14 for pi. So I'm going to substitute that in for pi. And I'm going to multiply it times the diameter, which is 6. And we can, um, so we would solve this. And 6 times 3.14 is actually 18. 0.84. So the circumference is 18.84 centimeters. And it's not square centimeters, it's not cubic centimeters, because we're measuring a linear distance here. It would just be centimeters. I'm going to use that second formula. I'm going to do circumference equals uh, 2 pi r. So let's substitute in what we know. We know 2. We're going to use 3.14 for pi, so I'm going to substitute that in. We know the radius. It's right here. It's 6. 
So I can multiply these any order. I'll do 2 times 3.14 first, which would be 6.28. And I'm going to multiply that by 6. And if you multiply those two, you get 37.68. So our circumference of that circle would be 37.68 centimeters. OK. Now, what does it mean to solve in terms of pi? Well, when you solve in terms of pi, it means you don't substitute for 3.14. You just leave the pi alone. So here we have um, a circle with a diameter of, of 1.2. And if you were finding the circumference, you would substitute 3.14 for pi. We would multiply it times 1.2. It would be 3.768. If you were solving in terms of pi, that means you don't, you don't touch pi. You would leave it alone. So we would substitute in 1.2. We wouldn't touch the pi. And the circumference of this circle in terms of pi would be 1.2 pi meters. Now, which one of these do you think is more accurate? Is this more accurate as far as this circumference, or is in terms of pi more accurate? Well, actually, this is more accurate because over here we rounded for pi. In this one, we haven't touched pi. So that's actually would be more accurate and precise. All right, let's try a couple of these. These are real easy to do. So we're going to solve the, the same two circles that you saw a minute ago. And we're going to solve these in terms of pi. So let's use the two different formulas. We'll do circumference equals pi d. So I'm going to substitute in. Remember, in terms of pi, we don't touch pi, so I'm just going to leave that alone. The diameter is 6. And that's it. We can go right to our uh, solution. So the circumference of this circle in terms of pi is 6 pi centimeters. Let's use the second circumference formula. Circumference equals 2 pi r. Let's substitute in. So 2 times pi times the radius. We know the radius is 6. So let's multiply. Oops, sorry. Didn't substitute in there. Let's multiply 2 times 6. That's 12. And we just have to do 12. Remember, we don't um, substitute for pi when we're doing in terms of pi. And the circumference of the second circle in terms of pi would just be 12 pi centimeters. So that's it. That's all there is to finding the circumference of a circle using 3.14 or in terms of pi.